The RISE Rapid Duct Sealing System is a multi-cable and pipe sealing system for cable ducts and building entries. RISE Rapid provides an extremely effective and simple solution to protect against water, chemical and gas ingress. It has been developed with speed of installation in mind, but without compromising on the high levels of reliability and safety synonymous with our range of sealing systems. The RISE Rapid Duct Sealing System consists of only two components. Noferno Sealant, a high-quality fire-rated silicon-based sealant, and Noferno Multi-Sleeves, supplied in bonded strips to make the system easy to install. The installed duct seal will prevent the migration of dangerous gases and provide flood protection for more than 50 years. The system ensures WIMES, DESIR, ATEX and APIA compliance and has been widely adopted by the construction and utility sectors. It's used within water treatment works, pumping stations and electrical substations. The system is included in the specifications for all of the leading water, electricity and telecom network providers in the UK. Within the nuclear sector, the RISE Rapid Sealing System is currently being used on flood protection programmes across the UK. For almost 25 years, CSD has led the market in the supply of cable and pipe penetration sealing systems to the construction, water and electrical utility industries. CSD has since extended its expertise and is now also the market leader within the renewable energy sector. Let's take a look at the installation of the product in a typical substation pit environment. We're going to seal a 150mm duct containing 37mm cables in trefoil formation. Noferno filler sleeves and sealant come in pre-packed kits to suit popular sized ducts. One standard kit will seal a typical 100mm duct and two kits will be needed for a 150mm one. Other kit sizes are available and the system can be used in any sized or shaped duct. You will also need a few simple tools to complete the job. These include a high ratio sealant gun, long nosed pliers, approved degreaser, cartridge cutter and torch. Rise Rapid finishing kits are available and include disposable nitrile gloves, cellulose sponge, wooden gauge, water spray, extended and angled nozzles. Before starting, remember to wear protective gloves and any required PPE. After removing any cable ties to improve access to the cables and duct, the installer uses one of the approved degreasing wipes to remove any loose dirt, dust, rust or oil residue in the duct opening. The wooden gauge makes a useful tool to separate the cables to improve access. Thorough cleaning of the cables and the duct is an essential stage in the installation to ensure a good bond of the Noferno sealant to the cables and ducting. The duct should also be dry. If your ducts contain running water, please contact CSD to discuss possible sealing solutions. Where there is an earthing conductor present, it is essential to move the strap away from the duct wall to allow adequate sealant to be applied. Several wipes may be needed to thoroughly clean the cables and duct. You may also wish to use a small piece of sandpaper to abrade the first 20 to 30 millimetres of the duct to further improve sealant adhesion. After a final wipe, the installer double checks the preparation to ensure all dirt residue is removed. If access is difficult, an inspection mirror can be helpful. Use the larger 2719 Noferno multi-sleeves to fill the free space. Place the sleeves around the cables in the duct and then push the multi-sleeves into the duct to a depth of 20 millimetres. Ensure the multi-sleeves both provide separation between cables and between the duct and cables.
Fill the remaining free space with individual sleeves which are easily torn from the longer strips. Any small gap should be filled with smaller sized 1812 Noferno multi-sleeves. Using long-nosed pliers will help with this. It is important to ensure the multi-sleeves are tightly packed into the duct to create a solid base for the application of the sealant. The sleeves need to be set at a uniform depth of 20 millimeters from the face of the duct for application of the Noferno sealant layer. This is easily achieved by using the wooden depth gauge and the long-nosed pliers to adjust the sleeves. The correct 20 mm depth will ensure a suitable layer of sealant is applied and a good seal is maintained. Before applying the Noferno sealant, the duct and cables are given a final clean, again using the approved degreasing wipes. Up until now, the installer has used hard-wearing gloves with a nitrile layer for the installation. Switching to thinner, disposable nitrile gloves will improve the finishing of the sealant layer. Snip the nozzle at an angle. This will help installation. Attach it to the Noferno silicon sealant cartridge. We are using the longer nozzle supplied with the kit and if needed we could use the angled applicator. Using a specialist high-ratio corking gun, apply the Noferno sealant to the least accessible areas first, usually around cables. Apply sealant over sleeves, allowing the sealant to fill out to the required 20 mm depth. A slight overfill is needed. Ensure the nozzle is kept in the Noferno sealant at all times allowing the sealant to flow and to avoid small air pockets forming. Note how the sealant remains in place in the face of the duct. It also works equally well when applied overhead. For a duct of this size, two cartridges of sealant are required. Using a torch, check for gaps in the sealant and apply more sealant into any gaps if needed. Using the water spray, dampen the cellulose sponge. This is done to stop the sealant from sticking to the sponge whilst working with it. Using a dabbing motion, firmly pat down the Noferno sealant, ensuring it makes good contact with both cable and the duct wall. Pay particular attention to the gaps between the cables to ensure good adhesion. A wipe can be used to remove any sealant around the edge of the duct. After putting on a fresh pair of gloves, wet them with the water spray to ensure that no sealant sticks to the hands during the finishing process. Ensure a good smooth finish is obtained by the use of a fast skimming motion. Make sure there is a good seal, paying particular attention around and in between the cables. Clean any excess sealant from the edge of the duct and cables. Take a final check with a torch to ensure sufficient sealant has been applied and the duct is properly sealed. 
If there are any areas that do not seem sufficiently sealed, add more Nofono sealant in this area and smooth off as before. The completed Rise Rapid duct seal will provide high levels of protection against gas and water ingress. The Rise Rapid system is proven to maintain maintenance-free protection for a period in excess of 50 years. An important advantage of the Rise Rapid system is the ability to add or remove cables at a later stage without disassembling the whole penetration. This next example shows how to do this. Adding new cables is a simple process. The recommended coring tool is used to remove a section of the sealant layer to locate an empty sleeve. Please take care not to damage existing cables. Pliers can also be used to remove the unwanted sealant. A hole slightly larger than the new cable should be made. Insert the new cable through the empty filler sleeve. In this case, an additional 12 mm cable is being added to the penetration. However, we can also easily add a larger cable to the penetration. Cut away some more sealant around the empty sleeve using the coring tool and the pliers as before. Then, long nose pliers are used with a twisting action to remove the sleeve from its strip of sleeves. The larger cable is inserted into the space created and cleaned prior to sealing. If possible, a sleeve should be put around the new cable to ensure cable separation. In this case, a single 1812 sleeve is inserted to ensure a tight fit. Refill the opening cut in the sealant layer with sufficient sealant. A slight overfill is required. Using the thinner nitrile gloves, pat the sealant down with the damp sponge as before. With wet gloves, smooth the surface of the sealant by hand and inspect with the torch to complete the installation. Take a final check with a torch to ensure sufficient sealant has been applied and the duct is properly sealed. Our next installation example shows an exterior 100mm duct containing multiple small cables and a draw cord. A long cable tie can be used to attach to the draw cord and a sleeve will be placed around the tie during the installation. At a later date, the sealant layer can be cut into and the draw cord pulled through if needed. 
thoroughly clean the duct and cables as usual. To ensure cable separation for installations with smaller cables, use the sleeve cutting tool to slit a quantity of Noferno sleeves. This should be about equal to the quantity of cables in the duct. In this case, the smaller 1812 sleeves are being used for the smaller cables. Place a split sleeve around each of the cables and then push the multi-sleeves into the duct, keeping them slightly above the duct to prevent sleeves falling in. Ensure the multi-sleeves provide cable separation. Use a split 2719 sleeve for the larger cable. and then fill the remaining free space with a strip of sleeves and individual ones as needed. Remember to place a sleeve around the cable tie attached to the pull cord. Adjust the multi-sleeves to leave the usual 20mm free space at the top of the duct for application of the Noferno sealant layer. After a final clean, apply the sealant in the usual way paying particular attention to the separation between the cables. They should be moved around to make sure the sealant is adhered to each cable. Finish the sealant layer in the usual way. Use the cellulose sponge to pat down and then smooth the surface by hand. Take a final check with the torch to ensure sufficient sealant has been applied around and in between the cables. The sealant should stand proud of the duct, allowing any water to run off the surface without pooling. As we have shown, the Rise Rapid Duct Seal System is a simple and cost-effective method of sealing ducts against the ingress of water or gas. The system will offer the highest levels of flood protection and gas-tight integrity and is proven to provide in excess of 50 years protection without any reduction in performance. The CSD products have a proven track record across a large variety of onshore and offshore construction industries around the world. For further installation information, visit the installer section of our website or contact our customer support team who are always happy to help.